Alright, so just gonna make a quick video for you guys uh, so that you know how to change the air compressor on a 2012 Expedition. I was having a little, little bit of difficulties because I couldn't find any anything and it took me a few days to piece everything together. So the first thing that you have to do is take out the passenger side headlight. So it's simple, you just take out these two bolts here and then uh, lift on this little tab and kind of wiggle out the headlight assembly. Eventually it comes off. Once you have that off, that's what you're after. That's the new compressor that I just put in. I'm doing this video after the fact and I discovered a few things in the middle of it all. So there are three bolts that you have to take care of. There's one here, one down there on the side, and then just in behind the compressor and it's easier to do it from underneath. There's one just down there that you have to remove. So once you have everything out of there, there are three little connections that you have to take care of. The first one is this air hose. The second one is this connector here. And the third, which was a little bit of a pain in the butt to, um, to get to, and I finally found out what you need to do from a Ford technician, is this little compression sleeve here. So that little tab there moves backwards. So you have to push it back about a millimeter. And then once you do that, this hose comes out. So that's the biggest tip that I can give you guys for this. Make sure that you push back on that little orange sleeve. And you can kind of see it move a little bit. It's only supposed to move about a millimeter or so, but as soon as you do that, like I said, just pull, pull on this little hose. And there's a little um, white end at the end of that hose that it all supposed to come out with. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's about the easiest way that you can go about um, doing this. There's another video of another guy that did it on an expedition, or sorry, on a, on a navigator, and he ended up taking these bolts off. I guess his compressor didn't come with the bracket. These brackets already come with the replacement compressors. Um, so you don't need to reuse it. It all depends on where you get the part. Now this part is an aftermarket part. The Ford original one costs 1200 Canadian at a Ford dealer. This one I ended up buying in King's Auto in Calgary and that one was $390. And um, as soon as I replaced that part, the suspension ended up uh, back where it's supposed to. So the issue that I was having before, the suspension was clicking and I noticed that it was riding way low. So you see the gap right now? Well, this fender lip was all the way down here to, to the wheel. But as soon as I plugged it in and turned it on, it took under a minute for it to, to kick back up. So they did a little bit of a bench test and what the issue was was that these compressors are supposed to run at 125, sorry, 150 PSI and it was only putting out 85 PSI. So it was, it was gone, it was time for a new one. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys have an easy time with this. It took me a little bit of time to figure out how to do it and there was no, no videos or information on how to go about it. So good luck with your project. Thanks for watching. So the other thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that there are three more bolts that you need to, to uh, take off. There's one here, one down here. And if you look inside, there's this little one here. So you need to take those three bolts off and then this plastic cover comes off. So this little plastic cover, you kind of just pop it over the lip and it gives you an extra inch or two clearance so that you can get to that uh, to that bolt that I showed you earlier on the back side of that bracket. Once you do that, then you can get in there with a 13 millimeter uh, crescent wrench. Um, loosen that bolt up and get it out of there and then that bracket comes off.